My role with Family Promise um, began from the first moment that they um, suggested that this might be a possibility for a church, a possible new ministry for us to be involved in. I am by far not the most active person in, in this, but I am so thrilled with um, the reaction by our church. So I've been in this church for a long time, and um, this seems like a ministry that's for us. And so I've done things like I've slept over multiple times um, to be the hosts that are here for the night in case there are problems or someone has some, a question throughout the night. Or um, I always try and donate some food and I also just make monetary gifts to Family Promise so that that can, so we can continue the ministry. Oh, um, if you're a host for the evening, um, you, after the people who have made dinner go home, then you are the people that are there. Um, so I usually stay in the dining room for a while to see if anyone comes back in needs anything or um, there is a, po a point at which you lock down the building and people don't go in and out. So um, if there's some kind of change from that, you help people, you just help people get what they need and, and um, help them feel as comfortable as they possibly can because it, it just must be difficult going from church to church. The babies. And I know a lot of people probably say that, um, but I, ha I, have en I have enjoyed watching people um, with the babies and then as you get to know people, um, the way they uh, feel more and more comfortable letting you help them. And um, I've also seen some very precocious, uh, you know, elementary school kids or middle school kids that um, I love to watch or interact with because uh, they're, they're just so fun. And as usual, they say just things that you don't expect, you know, and so then you get to interact and have a little fun that way. So it's just, it, it's a lot of fun. What I like about Family Promise is that they are an entire package. Um, they don't just offer a place to sleep or a place where you can get food or a place where you can get training. They actually have a time period by which, I mean, they give you shelter and they keep families together. That's very important to me. They keep the families together, but they give you shelter and food so that you don't have to worry about that while you take training so that you can, you know, be able to hire in for a new position, work position, and then establish your own home. But they have a, you know, they have a timeline that they do that by, and it's very structured. And so, if people follow that by the end of the time, they've not their families have not only been cared for, but they eventually have their new home, and their parent is working, or parents are working, and it's just fantastic to see because there are a lot of ministries out there that do wonderful things but they don't necessarily package it so, so tightly as a family promise. So it's just a great, great system. The best thing to do is just partner with someone who has already been here and um, help with them and you'll see how easy it is. Uh, they're, they're people, like I'm a person. And, you know, we, we can all find ourselves in very difficult situations. And so in that way, we're no different. And that's what you discover. <laughs>